Hey guys, this is Swordfish, and today I'm playing Morrowind, and we are going on an adventure. I was trying to get that, I was trying to convey that by this dramatic sunrise over the mountains, with the mist through the trees. Hopefully that's coming across. Let's stand in the shade now and, and talk about what we're doing. So, I was, I was looking through my journal, and I went to the quest tab, and in alphabetical order, I clicked on the first one, Anasi, a special friend. Anasi is my friend and will tell my secrets. Me secrets, not tell my secrets. That's not a friend. I got a, pe a feather and I offered to take care of a bad person who threatened Anasi. Darren Ard Adron, a dark elf, and a Kamanatong bigwig. That sounds really dangerous, but also fun. So I'm gonna try it. Is that Narmok, which is... Um, here. So we haven't traveled this far yet. We're here. We're trying to go here. I should probably go out the other direction. Um, I keep trying to press control to run because now in Minecraft, control toggles run. Doesn't work in this. So I'm gonna go out the northern exit, which I actually just discovered in the last episode, that you could even do this. I've been going out the front in the south, every time. Totally not necessary. There is a shortcut to leave out the north and I just didn't just run around every time because I just assume everything I have to do in this game is going to be slow because it's a slow game. I like it because it's a slow game. Life is kind of slow paced usually. I gotta put on a shield in case life gets fast paced for me quickly. Um, so we're gonna run from here up, well, actually, we're gonna go this way. I'm probably gonna have to go around and, and there, but we're gonna run to Narmok, and uh, I will be back with you in the commentary when something interesting happens, or I see something pretty, or I think of a thought that I wanna share. One of those things. Here's, he, here's a little bit of meta commentary. I, um, uh, I'm walking, you know, I'm, I'm kind of spacing out and fiddling with my feet under the desk, and I was kicking something, and I said, hmm, I looked under the desk and realized the thing I was kicking was the power strip that my computer is plugged into, and in particular, my foot was resting on the power button. That's, uh, now I don't recommend that to anybody. Don't fiddle with your power button, especially while you're recording, but really never. It's just not a good idea. That guy is flying with a low frame rate. Look at that. Like vintage animation up there. Is he attacking me? He heard me making fun of his frame rate, and now he's glitching his way down from the sky. Oh boy. Eventually, you'll get here. And then we'll have a battle. Come on. Come on, little birdie. All right, get paralyzed. Urr, hurrah! Subtitle of monster noises. Cliff racer. This thing is actually quite huge. And dead. Nice try. Oh hi. Thanks for helping. Winning personality. You or me or him? Cause he was just mean. All right. Goodbye, dead thing. Thank you, guard. And we're on our way. We're halfway there. I think. This is Caldera, if you happen to watch the episode where I went into the Caldera Ebony Mine and took care of some bad people, which was recently. I don't remember which episode it was, but it was recently. Uh, that was here. Or, more specifically, it was out the west exit, which I'm trying to find now. Um, is this it? Are you the west exit? Well, you're a hill, and the wall doesn't... Does the wall go around you? We're gonna jump over the fence instead. Instead of going out the west exit and just improv our way to the road. Alright, that's fine. I don't mind that at all. And walking. So, my way... 
my way forward takes me past this poor naked warrior who I didn't help and now he's mad at me. But his axe cloud cleaver is somewhere with a witch in this direction, I think. Right? Narmok is this way. Alright, maybe not. This is Aldrun. I guess she's near Aldrun. I'm going to Narmok, so never mind. But see you later. Nice to see you again, buddy. Sorry that you're still not willing to let me change my mind, which is really unreasonable. Narmok, this way. Okay. I just heard some howling noises and they made me change my mind about sprinting everywhere and start saving up my stamina. However, um, I enjoy, so I really enjoy this game for its realistic portrayal of adventuring and it's not you're holding your hand. The one thing I don't like about it is its realistic portrayal of walking speed. Yes, I understand that if I were walk, this is about how fast you walk. This is a, a, a slow, a slowish walk that saves up your stamina. Totally get that. But this is a video game, so... I'd like to get to the place I'm going eventually. Oh, 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 hi! Were you, sorry, where did you wanna, did you wanna say something? I wasn't, I, I know I was teasing your friend about his frame rate. Oh, my light armor skill increased, that's good. My sword is breaking, that's not good. This thing looks dangerous. Let's not go that way. Okay, Narmok is this way. What's this thing? This is, an egg mine. That's, I'm scared of that. There's no way to, you can't even make markers on your map. That I kinda would like. <laughs> Back to the realism thing. If I were really adventuring, I would write stuff on my map. It wouldn't teleport me there when I touched it, but I would make a little, right now, would make a little circle there and write egg mine. I apologize for that police car outside. I heard me fighting the rat and was like, wait, I'm gonna come help you. Whoop, 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 whoop. That's my impression of a police car. Alright, that's it. Here's the boat. So that's... We're coming up on Narmok. That's a big scary thing. That's... I don't like the way that looks at all. Okay. Oh, do I have to walk past that? No way, I am swimming. Oh, there's a little bridge. It's the bridge of avoiding the huge octopus jellyfish terrifying thing. All right, and we've arrived. Put away my sword for now, because I intend to use it. And who am I killing? I'm killing I'm killing Darren Adrin, a dark elf. Oh, and whose house is Darren Adrin in? Options. I see. He's in Nadine Rotheran's shack. Not house. These are all kind of shacks. Okay. That's Geran Dolbiante's shack. This is a Mushmir's shack. This is a guy on a boat. Does he want to take me somewhere? Is this a travel to Hlaod, which would have been... That's here, isn't it? Yeah, that would have been way faster. Wait, no, where's Hlaod? I just saw it. Yeah. That would have been way faster. All right. Well, it was a fun walk. That's okay. Hey, let me off your boat. Excuse me. I'll jump off. Seriously, though. Okay. I just leveled up trying to jump off the boat. Oh, Elder Scrolls. Cariel's shack that's locked, so that's a good place to break in. Rust Loggy's shack. Um, Angelos's shack. Nadine Rothran. That's what I'm looking for, right? Nadine Rothren's shack. Okay. Let's go in. There's Darren. There's another person. There's... 
there's four people in this room, and they're all gonna see me kill this guy. Unless, now the thing I heard, the thing, the strategy, here's a door. A strategy that I've read about things, so I haven't, all right, he hates me. A thing I read that might be possible is if you, you can taunt someone into attacking you, and then if they attack you, you don't get um, a bounty if you kill them. Now, this doesn't seem to be working. Taunt and intimidate, no. Okay. Well, if I kill all these people, what's gonna happen? I'm probably gonna get a bounty and let's just do it and see. And then reload and then try to figure out a better way to do it. Okay, I stunned him. Now let's get the demon Tonto going. Demon Tonto, finish your attack. Okay. Demon Tonto and spell. Now I gotta do the spell. And now I have this awesome thing. And now I'm gonna stab him until he dies. Stab him until he dies. I noticed that I didn't have a bounty. Um, it didn't tell me I had a bounty. Okay, oh, it just did when I killed him, okay. A crime has been reported. What if I kill all the witnesses? These are just slashy fighting. This isn't, my crime has been reported again. Well, that's, yeah, that'll happen. I'm leveling up, at least. Where's my health potions? I should have organized this better. Uh, I don't need a quality one. I'm not that strong. This is fortify. I just dropped it. It's fortify, fortify, restore health. Take one of these. You're dead. Am I sneaking? No, you're, they're just, I'm slow. You're gonna die too? And now when I leave, okay, you're all dead. Let me loot your bodies, cause why not? She's got nice torches. He's got nice sword, nice shoes, and he's got some stuff. I don't need his shirt. Okay, let's dispose of these corpses. Oh, he has a demon Tonto. That's awesome. Um, dispose of these bodies. Oh, and he has a lot of stuff. Yeah, these people were thieves. I hope he wasn't a thieves guild thief, because then I'm in extra trouble. Okay, let me dispose of your body. Now, while we're in here, I'm gonna loot the whole place, right? Make sure there's anything worth stealing. And if see if there's anything else worth stealing. Seems not. And now I have to escape. If I go outside, I went out the back, I left out the back door. Okay, my crime has been reported, so I definitely have a bounty on my head. I left out the back door. Uh, so maybe I can run around the guards. Run to the Thieves Guild. And see if I can, you know. Run away. Well, I made it back to the path without seeing a guard, so that's good. Now I have to make it back to town. I just realized something while I was running. There was a guar. Probably gonna have to fight this guy too. Yeah. I realized while I was running that I probably shouldn't have killed all those people. I probably should have only killed my target. Because, like I've said a bunch of times, the way this game works, I may need one of them in the future, and now they're dead. Unfortunately, it's too late. One, I don't feel like reloading and doing it again, and two, I'm gonna live with my mistake. If that's a mistake that I made, I'm just gonna deal with it. This seems to be a shortcut. I'm just gonna deal with it. I shouldn't have done that. Next time I won't do that. And uh, hopefully the quest wasn't too fun. If I know there's some Morrowind vets who watch this series and probably facepalm, like, constantly at the stuff I do. 
if those guys were, um, the guys that I killed are really important for anything in the future, let me know. Please. Oh my god! Uh, please let me know, because I want to know what to be disappointed about. I don't want to be disappointed only when it happens. It, it curbs the disappointment a little bit. I'm coming up on Gore Town here. Hopefully they don't all attack me at once. If they all attack me at once, I'm in for a not fun time. Can I just... Are they not going to attack me at all? Can I just run around them? Can I just... Okay, guys. Nice to meet you. I'm going to go over here. I guess that's fine. Okay. So I murdered four people. That's what I did. I murdered four people. And I feel bad, of course, because I'm not a murderer in real life. I'm a nice guy who doesn't like to hurt people. Um, but I murdered four people. Now, I don't know. I haven't murdered anyone in Morrowind yet in cold blood like I just did. Um, making it sound so bad. I haven't murdered anyone in cold blood yet until this point because now I have and I'm a murderer now. I'm not sure how to deal with it. I think the bounty thing is only for thieving. Like, the guy can take the bounty off your head only for stealing stuff. I can't do this. I'm gonna have to walk around. The guy that takes the bounty off your head only is for thief things. I think I'm gonna have to pay a, a fine to the guards? I think... I think that's how it works. So, hopefully that's not too expensive. I have money. I just don't want to, like... If it's too expensive, also, maybe I'll reload it and only murder one person? Instead of murdering two people? Oh, I gotta fight you? At least we have a beautiful sunset through the trees. That's really nice. I'm getting attacked by everything. But we have a beautiful sunset through the trees to look at, and that makes it worth it. Well, we're coming up the front wall of the city here. There's no guards outside. I'm gonna, even though I think that the Thief's Guild's bounty thing isn't gonna work, I'm still gonna try to, um... Can I, like, jump over the wall? Do I have to walk at the front door? If I swim in, I'm not, I can't get, I don't know how to get up, so I'm going to walk in the front door and see what happens. Hope that I don't get attacked by guards. I'm going to get attacked by guards. Maybe if I sneak. Forget it. Sneaking is way too slow. There's a guard. Is he running? No, he uh, he just started running. Oh no. Maybe not. Where is he? Where is he? He's down there. Okay, run. He just started running again. He's running towards me. I'm running over this bridge. Running over this bridge. He's running towards me. I don't want to look back. But I have a guard behind me, I think. Oh boy. I don't think this is going to work. Okay. I don't think this is going to work anyway. But we're gonna see and see if see. We're gonna see. I have heard you got a price on your head, operative. For a small fee, I can take care of that. Word on the street is you got about three thousand gold. You can fix that for fifteen hundred gold. Thanks. I can do that. That's a lot of gold, but better than getting attacked by guards. Now I have to find a Nasi. I don't remember where a Nasi was. I have to look that up. Well. All of you Morrowind experts who I was talking about before are probably saying, Swordfish, if you... <laughs> Jeez, they're saying two things. One, Swordfish. Anasi is not in Belmora. Anasi is in Pelagia. And you'd be correct about that. How do I get there again? Is there... It's by Satanine. So, you'd be correct about that. First thing. 
Second thing. Second thing. You're saying, Swordfish, Swordfish, if you go to a Nasi straight from the quest, the Nasi takes the bounty off your head for free, and you don't have to pay all that gold. And to you I say, you're right, but I am lazy. And I don't have an incredibly pressing need for gold right now, and I'm a thief, and a thief's job is to acquire hardware gold quickly and easily um so i don't feel like going all the way back and reloading the quest and running all the way from that place to pelagia just to save 1500 gold maybe that's foolish it could be it could be foolish but that's what i'm doing because running in this game takes a long time, and I have other things I want to do tonight. Like I said uh, when I was leaving the shack, and I said, well, I probably should have escaped without killing those three people. Because, but I'm going to deal with the consequences. I'm dealing with the consequences of giving away my money for free. Oh, well. Ah, the sleepy fortress of Pelagia, 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 I d This place. Where was Anasi? Halfway Tavern. That's right. I believe I stayed here. I believe I'm gonna stay here again because I have a level up to get. Now, are you ever this you? Anasi! Hurry this up, will you? Well, okay. Smooth moves. No? What is my share of care? That was it. Anasi is safe? This bad person is no more. If I get a press on your head, call favors, get this fixed. Well, it's too late for that. Share a gift? A special gift for a true and good friend. That's me. Shall we share a gift? Look! What Anasi found isn't it pretty, and it's just your size. You will look so fine. Inside these clothes, a book. Okay. I got an extravagant shirt and pants, and a book, and another journal entry. That was my gift. Share a care. After you're so good to Anasi, Anasi is ashamed to ask, and Anasi feels strange telling a good friend this thing, but Anasi has a mate. Hmm. Anasi loves him once, Anasi loves him very much, but now this mate is slave to Skuma. Oh, that's sad. Um. Anasi begs him to abandon the Skuma. Oh, I'm supposed to talk him into giving up the skooma. I don't know, but I will try. I'm a good friend. I want to cure a skooma addict. Well, it can't be done. That's not necessarily true. Um, I like this. There's no cure for the skooma addict, all because you'd know this, but things we all know are true, sometimes they are not true after all. That is true. We may do that next, we may not. We'll see if I feel like it, but uh, that was a convoluted running around sort of quest with some mistakes. I thought Anasi was waving goodbye for a second. That would have been perfect. I made some mistakes. I did some foolish and reckless things and that's all in a good day's adventure. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.